You know, in the day, mm-hmm. like in history, right? Is that, are we starting like, like this? Re- in relationships and stuff, right? Right. Like picking up chicks. Like Can there, you turn there, me up? There were pickup artists, right? Yeah. Like they were pickup artists, right? Uh-huh. Right. Right. That's better. Now, have you ever heard... Casanova? Of a rejection artist. Mm. Dude, careful. <laughs> Did you forget? <laughs> Realist podcast. Now I say that because I have a special video for us today. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to Your Hair Podcast. Welcome back to Your Hair Podcast. You already know what it is. Welcome back. Welcome home. Um, we have the website is live. Website's live. You are here podcast.net. net. The boys are live. We're on the Hey, dude, it's internet. one. It's a little upgrade. I don't know if it's an upgrade or a downgrade. It's, it's an upgrade. It's Fabricio, an upgrade for sure. You're the yes. man. Shout out to Fabricio. Shout out Fabricio. He we hooked us you. up with a website from scratch. Dude, created it from the ground up. If you need a website, hit it's him up. It's revolutionary. You, you can't find a better website. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like that, dude. It's grassroots, all right? It's grassroots. You it's can- ours. We own it all. It's uh, it's uh, totally... All the, all the new episodes you can see on there in all previous episodes um also i think the patreon link's up there oh yeah also uh you can reach out to us anonymously talk to us yeah we have we want. have a question tab yes that is a system he made it mm-hmm. he literally made it awesome we get it anonymously mm-hmm. you ask whatever yep. you could do it if you got a question for us if you want us to talk about something something a problem in your life mm-hmm. you, we, we ain't gonna know it's you all right mm-hmm. it comes mm-hmm. up anonymous to us mm-hmm. and we can access that in a database and boom we are going to talk about it on the podcast, so Bang. I'll put the uh, link right here on the YouTube video. Yep. Uh, but yeah, you are here podcast dot net. I love Boom. that. I love that. So clean. We are leveling up. We leveled up. Quick shout outs. Got to give quick shout outs. Yes. Because uh, we have we've been we've been expanding. I don't know what's happening. You've been putting in work, dude. Been putting in work on the social media side of things. You and, know when uh, Davey when you know when Davey comes into the the playhouse, he says. I went Instagram. I mean, I went TikTok famous again. <laughs> I went. Your boy went dummy viral. We're we're just me. I don't know what's. They're pushing our thing a little bit more, so we're we're reaching out to people we haven't met before. So if you're one of those people who found our uh, our podcast through a, a Instagram post or you know those reels, those TikTok uh, posts, um, hi, welcome. Here's the podcast. That's Mike. I'm yes. Dave. You know, I don't know how we're qualified to talk to you, but we're just two good dudes that are friends, really close friends, trying to have an honest conversation with each other today. That's it. Being present in the moment. It's the You're Here podcast. We've had a couple of people show up to where we work. Yeah. So, you know, there's one dude, Pablo. Pablo? Um, yeah, Pablo. Pablo. I think that's what I don't you think said. It's it. Pablo, dude. Didn't you say his name is Pablo? No. Oh, it's Juan. Oh. No, you said Pablo. Pablo? I did not say Pablo. Do not do not put Pablo in my mouth. Okay. Dude. I would not say that. Let's call you... My boy Juan, dude. Shout out Juan. Let's call you Juan then. That's my guy. Juan, awesome. Thanks for coming up to us and, and being so kind yeah, about the podcast. Um, someone previously reached out to me from, from, I think, like Wisconsin. What? Yeah. Wow. Micah. Shout out, Micah. Oh, man. Pleasure to meet you. The love. Um, welcome to the podcast. You're welcome here. You're part of the tribe now. Yes. Get your loincloth. Get your rice and your chicken and your and your quesadillas and get get to the get to the hut. Okay, okay, okay. And um, who else was there? We need a tab ha- on Holla. So oh, we shout, you shout out. out Holla! We did it, hundred percent. You didn't think we would, huh? Yeah, you didn't think we would. Just guess what? Shout out Holla! It happened. And we do have a <laughs> yeah. podcast, and it's real. Yes, yes. Um, and it's on YouTube. And it's on YouTube. <laughs> like and subscribe. Thank you guys for riding with us for real. Uh, welcome to the team. Yeah. Um, let's get into it, bro. What, what yeah, do you got dude, for I, me? I, the rejection artist you're saying, right? That's yeah. what you just said? I just want to... No, I want to get your opinion on this because yeah. I saw this and I just want to hear... I just want to know your first... Okay. I like your reactions. I'm a TikToker. I now. like your reactions, man. I'm a TikToker now. And I just want to know what you think of this. I'm excited right. about it. We haven't done this in a while. What do you got yeah. for me? What do you got for me? What happens when you approach a cute girl in public? Excuse me. Hi. Don't panic. I'm not a crazy person. Oh, this is tight jeans. Tight. You are super cute. I had to introduce myself. Thank you. Oh, Daniel. Hannah. Hannah, nice to meet you. So he's Hannah approaching her at some kind of bar, like a coffee bar Good or something. Always do. Okay. Did you, wait, what did he say? Did you hear what he said? What did he say? So he goes. So he goes up to her. He says, "Hi, how are you doing?" I'm not a crazy person. Yeah, yeah. Right. Not I'm, to I'm, sk- I'm normal. Which, which I gotta be real. That's, 
I don't know if it's the greatest. It's a rough so. line to say. All right, but maybe you know it might work. And he's man bunned up. Yeah. No disrespect. Yeah. I'm just calling. Uh, but it. then he he asked their name. Yeah. And let's say her name was Hannah, and Hannah. then he says, "Is Hannah taken?" Ah, uh, in the third part, like yes. third person, he referred to her yes. as the is is the Hannah taken? Yes. Okay. Is Hannah taken? Is Hannah taken? And okay, she says yes. Right. She says yes. She so she's yes. she's got somebody, or she's just saying. That. And and what he says is, the good ones always are. Solid. Okay. I mean, solid. Yeah. Solid. He's okay. taking it on the chin. Well, it's nice you know what nice I like? You Pause. Too, yeah. Pause. Thank you for being cool. See, I like this. Okay. Uh, uh, let me say why I like this. Okay. This is why this is a power move right here. Okay. I give this guy an eight out of ten. His approach and his and his confidence to stick around. That's what it is. Yeah. He got rejected, right? She's she's with somebody, Hannah. Maybe she's a little scared. Maybe she's just saying it. Mm-hmm. But she's saying, "No, thank you." You know, I don't. I don't want to start a relationship this way, or I'm in a relationship, yeah. whatever. And he doesn't run away and like <laughs> and like scurry off. Yeah, yeah. He stays there. He gets to know her a little bit more, right? He doesn't like. I don't think he's being creepy by by sticking around and 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 saying, you know, it was nice to meet you and and um, thanks for being so kind. It's pretty polite. Yeah, it's polite. There's no, there's no like malice. There's no <clears throat> uh, aggressiveness. It's just he's just he's not forcing it anymore. He pulled it back, but he stuck around to just be like, you know, yeah. I'm just another human yeah. being in in the same place as you right now. You know, this is a weird thing I tried to yeah. do. And yeah, respect. I, I give that a lot of respect. Hey, Rejection. Have a good one. And that's basically the message I of love all. That. That's the message of yeah. his of his channel. How have I been saying that? I know. That's the message of his channel. Says rejection is normal. Guys, right? dude, I've and been saying this. Yes. Haven't we talked about we this? We have been talking about this. We have. I love that he's doing this. Yeah. I love that he's doing this because because look, he's smiling. He's yeah. leaving, and the next next moment. Yeah. You know, she's fine. She's, you know, whatever, however she yeah, feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's just like, it's you know, a normal, it didn't work It's out. a normal interaction, yeah, right? Yeah, rejection's normal. Well, maybe maybe interactions aren't normal anymore, right? Because I feel like in this world, we're trying to, we're going towards this I, thing of, I th- dude, you can't, right? No. I think that this is so <laughs> healthy. I think that this is so healthy, bro. Otherwise, you're going to be the the social media generation where, where no one meets anyone yeah. in person anymore. This is like... I want to. I want to show this to like a a fourteen year old me. Uh huh. I want to be like, check this out, homie. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was like terrified, yeah, bro, yeah. of rejection. And, and he. Okay, so let, I agree with you. Yeah, we can agree on this. I think the message is good. It's awesome, right? Awesome. I think it's great. I awesome. think it's a good thing. You know, rejection is normal. Where do we differ? You know, be bold. Yeah. Now, I just want to put some things out there that are kind of weird. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> he's over forty, which uh, is not. It's, okay. You know what? It's it's he's it's not crazy. He's single. he's single and he's allowed to do that, all right? Now he recorded this, right? Uh-huh. So it's kind of kind of weird. Is that but your he, phone? No. That's not my phone. It sounds like a uh cruise ship. <laughs> We're in a suburb. Nah. Um so it's kind of weird that he's recording it, right? At least he blurs it out, you know what yeah, I mean? He blurs that's that's face fine. Out. That's fine. Yeah. Now, <laughs> what about if he's doing this like every day? Oh shit. Shoes. <laughs> like, <laughs> Wait a second. Like doing this every day. <laughs> oh, he is? Yeah. That's his posts every day. Yeah. Puppy rejection, quick rejection, married rejection. Yeah. Do they all go and then, his shirt And now he's gym? doing and now he's doing gym stuff. Nah. So. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Why is the shirt off at the gym? Isn't that like not allowed at gyms? Yeah, Aren't you what, not allowed to do I think that? it depends what gym you go to. Oh, that, I, I wouldn't be going to that gym. You know? So now, now that I see, now play, that, now that I'm know. at the, I don't want to play anymore. Yeah, yeah, TikTok's yeah, being weird. Yeah, it's stop, like, stop. I have to set it up again. Don't do but it. basically, I feel like now, like that interaction is almost meaningless. Because he's not he really it, trying. Yeah, he it's does for it content. To everyone. It's content. Yeah. He's almost wanting to be rejected. Yeah. Hence the rejection art. Also, we don't know if he's in a relationship, this guy. That'd be even weirder if he was like married. If he's like a player or if he's yeah. married. 
Yeah. I mean, I like the message though. I'm going to be real. You know what? I think it's a pickup artist, but in a positive way. Like if he did one. I think, then- I think like typically t- the pickup artist game yeah. is so trash because it's literally <laughs> just fake and like dumb. Yeah. You ever see that? Yeah. It's so stupid, man. Yeah. The amount of videos you saw on these. Yeah. Oh my God. Growing up. I used up, to watch those. Drugs. Right? And you're like, dude. Dude, he's got a Maybach. And then she got yeah. in the car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or and like. he was like, you gold digger. Yeah. And, the, and they go to like a shitty car. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. they go to a nice yeah. one. Yeah. They're like, later, ho. <laughs> <laughs> so fake. It's so terrible. And now, 18 year old me was like, what? It was one of those early YouTube scams. Yeah, for sure. Right? For sure. I, I was all in. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to get you. I love right, that. Your um, <laughs> no, I love the message because I, I like this, this, you know, we should normalize getting rejected, guys. It's yeah. all right. I've been rejected. Mike's been rejected. Yeah. Everyone's been, everyone gets rejected. Been rejected. No one shoots 100%, man. Mm. You're, you're going to, there's so many people out there. And then, all, you know, people dream up like these fantasies of people you meet. And yeah. You're like, oh, that's the one. And then you try to ask them out and you realize that's not the one. And also you're crazy. Like you were, you were just swept up in your own narrative that you dreamed up. You know what I mean? Yeah. You didn't even know that person. It's okay. You know, not everyone's going to be on the same page at the same time. You know what I mean? It's chemistry. You're, yeah. you're, 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 you're rolling the dice. Yep. And sometimes the chemistry is like perfect and sometimes it's a little off and sometimes it's just not not the right time. And definitely the more you roll the dice, the more chance of success, yeah. right? I know people who, who dated somebody, then went on a double date, then dated the other, like ended up with the other person they were on the double date. That's insane. Yeah, bro. Like that, and that, that that's like where the chemistry was like at its best. Yeah. Like it wasn't meant to be with that person. That person wasn't meant to be with the other person. They were meant to be together. Now, you know, you got to, you, I, I don't know. I just, I want to live in a world where like, that's more normal. Yeah. You know? I agree, man. I agree. Instead of like people like holding back and like not pulling the trigger when they have an instinct on like, yeah, this could be yeah. something special. That's really like the, like the, the, the attempt. Rejection is like the first step in success. Yeah, you know? Yes. Like you got, you have, if it's, it's kind of what we always talk about. Yeah. You, if you don't take the chance, then what are you going to do, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to get sure. out there. I used to be real scared, man. I think that that's a big thing that everyone's felt and has maybe affected more people than we think with uh-huh. the pandemic. It's uh-huh. oh, like yeah. being shut in like crazy. Yeah, yeah. And then having to go out again. I, I feel like that, that really messed me up too. Yeah, I can see you that know? for sure. Now it's finally getting out there again, you testing the waters, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. It, uh, it definitely feels a lot better. Like we're... I feel like I'm back to normal. You know what I mean? After being able to take more, you know, like go, like be more ambitious. Yeah. You know, dude, I noticed at the wedding, I was like socially yeah. anxious for like the yeah, first 15 right? minutes. Right. I don't know why. I was like all like nervous and I felt like I couldn't look no one in the eye. I was like, oh shit, yeah. I feel out of place. Yeah. Or I feel scared to be out here. Is my shirt untucked? Like, mm. I look stupid. I don't have a tie. Yeah, I don't have a tie. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Lena. Damn it. She swore that was the right move um I, dude i hated it you know when you make them and then and it was you know it was funny i called jordan i said jordan bring a tie because i don't have a tie and he uh he, he brought two really in shereen's purse oh. for me and, but we never wore them oh because only you guys were in ties we were if you noticed no most people I'm weren't in ties tie, no not everybody Everyone. the family and the and the party yes you know what you're right because it was cocktail hour like it was a, oh. it was a, it was cocktail attire. True, true. So Jordan explained to me that's no tie. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I respect that. <laughs> you're giving me a look like No, no, no. You, I'm not. You, you you're disrespectful. No, no. You know tie. what? You're right. You're right. I I would like to be separated, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, from you the guys look good in the ties, though. You guys, yeah, from the, <laughs> the peasants, the plebes. Oh man, bro! Remember, I showed you that thing at work. The um, this this is going off of that video you just showed yeah. us. Uh, the eye contact video. Uh huh. Remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I started thinking about that a lot more, bro. Like, I'm putting out an application right now. Ooh, the applications are out. Yeah, you exp- explain. explain. Let me explain the process it. of it. I, I I don't know if people are listening or watching. I'd love to show them too, but you know if it's just like two. But th- that one video I showed you that was that was two people speaking and, and having the eye contact thing. But the, so there was an experiment done. I'll, I'll, you know what? Let me let me let me read it. Let me read it. Okay. There was an experiment, but I'll, I'll say my words too. There was an experiment done back in the day where some some I don't know scientist or something came up with this idea of uh, he was trying to study 
human uh, empathy. He was trying to measure and like see like how do we how do how do I best create uh, human empathy? And um, he created this exercise called the eye contact uh, exercise or something like that, where he sat people down for I think it was like four minutes or something like that. It was like an allotted amount of time, and the only rule was you don't speak, you just stare into each other's eyes for the period of time. Mm. And what you would find is like as he as he watched these two people. Uh, Oh man, I love it. I'm sorry. I just love this. Mm. Um, I'm not gonna read it. He uh, he found that like when the two people would just stare at each other, somehow something like some human interaction and exchange was happening in the eye contact over the time that people started to grow empathy, and they would ask questions before, and then they would ask questions after, and you could tell like and and the type of questions they asked would change. So they'd start like it was kind of like uh, the game, the card game. What's the card game that uh, Casey brought over the one day? We're not really strangers. Yes. So yes. okay, it was that. It was like a series of like real surface level questions, uh-huh. and then it moves into deeper questions. And then it's like real, like who you really are questions, like yeah. trying to dig deep, deep, and um, with the eye contact, you can see like if you study it. If you just sat in front of somebody for five minutes and just didn't speak, let's say, mm. I guarantee you would have more empathy for that person by the end of the five minutes. Wow. Some weird chemical thing happens in a human being when they're taking in another human being where like the empathy button is like switched on. Mm. And it. the video I showed you was those two German people. Yeah. Or, or I think they were German. They were living in Germany. And they were doing a, so that that experiment, and the one lady is you know staring at this older gentleman, and uh, she's she's emotional, staring at him. Yeah. And I love it because she's emotional. It's not because of what's like if something's happening to her in her life. She's somehow connected to what his life is. It's become her life just by staring at him. Mm-hmm. For an allotted amount of time, like for more than a minute, you know. Yeah. That empathy is like I think so essential to like living a a, a fulfilling and connected life. Like I feel like sometimes I feel like I I don't I can't connect to my empathy. Like my I, some something happened in life and people were rough to me and mm-hmm. I got upset. Like someone hurt me and I just shut it off. Yeah. And I, re- I recognized that like two weeks ago, I was like, why am I acting so weird? And I had this like issue with my neighbors and I was pissed off and mm. I felt, you know, like really slighted. And I, and I was like, you know, F that. And I just started noticing more and more like the, the bad things people do during the day instead of the good things. Mm. I said, why, the, why is my, my in my headspace every day? I wake up and I'm like afraid of people now or I'm afraid of reaching out and connecting. And, you know, I felt like my days were like, just di- like disconnected. I wasn't like feeling part of a thing. Mm. I felt like very alone. And it was because my empathy, I was shutting it down because I was hurt by somebody. And for sure that's going to happen in life. We're going to be hurt by people. People aren't perfect. People are, you know, we all fuck up and we we have our own internal struggles and then we lash out at certain times and like mm-hmm. that's life. But um, this empathy thing, bro. That exercise I showed you, specifically those those two German people, she's taking in, to get back to it, she's taking in this gentleman and she's forced to ask this question and she's trying to do it in a polite way because she knows already. This is the crazy thing that I want to like, I almost want to talk, I want to bring it up. She knows already that he has somehow lost a lot. Mm -hmm. She can, there's some cellular understanding in this human that understands this man Mm -hmm. she understands i don't know how but she got it from looking at him yeah her empathy was 150 and she somehow absorbed what he's gone through in his life and how he what he's doing right now at this point what he's feeling and she asked him are you uh, uh are you new here to berlin and he says yes i'm i think he says yes yeah i'm new 
And then she asks, and she's like shuddering. She can't even contain it. Like she's crying. She's on the verge of like bawling because she's hurting. She's feeling what he feels. And she says, are you alone? And she already knows the answer. Mm. And he just, all he says is yes. And then he says, sometimes life nice, sometimes life not nice. That's it. That's yeah. all he says. Like if it was a script, that'd be the lamest script, right? Yeah. You wouldn't be like, damn, this is crazy. But what, her empathy for him and the little bit he was able to communicate to her, like, mm -hmm. you know, verbally, but emotionally, she was tapped in and he was tapped into her. Like they totally understood each other. They weren't strangers anymore is the point. Mm -hmm. They were like forever connected because of the however many minutes they got to sit in front of each other and just look in each other's eyes. And it's awkward at first. At oh, first yeah. it's like you're like giggling and it's weird. And, you're, and then eventually it becomes normal. And you're like, I've been staring at your eyes for mm -hmm. three minutes and we got the giggles out. And now I'm starting to like feel things from you. I'm starting to kind of, it's as if I, I, I do this. This is kind of what, and I said, it's like acting, right? I told you it's like, yeah, acting. Yeah, yeah. and that's kind of why it's, if the script was sometimes life, nice, sometimes life, not nice. You'd be like, whatever. But the emotional life yeah, going on underneath it and the connection. The amount of understanding. Yo, the amount bro. of like worth just in the interaction. Oh, man. It's all behavior. Yeah. It doesn't have to be words. Dude, all in the behavior. There's a deep understanding between these people. She knows the answer before she has it. He is struggling to get the words out to express without without breaking down yep. what, he, what he's gone through. And he's not going to tell her everything, especially with a camera in his face. But he's totally connected to her. And he says that little bit. And she reaches out and grabs him. Mm -hmm. This strange man. Yeah. That she didn't know before. She has to. She has to do it. She reaches out and grabs his hands. No one told her to do it. It wasn't in a script. You know? It wasn't in the experiment. She had to do it to console him. Because why? She cares about him now. Yeah. Simply from looking in another person's eyes. Like, I just love it, man. Yeah. That is like, I wish, I wish that was part of school. I wish it, mm. like a part a part of your day was dedicated to sitting down with somebody you don't know and looking in their eyes, just finding out who they are. No words. Just just what do I gather from from this pair of eyes, from this life in front of me? Because it becomes valuable. It becomes it becomes like its own universe. Mm. You 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 discover that there's there's no unimportant people. Yeah. They're all just as important as I am, mm -hmm. and I'm no more important than they are. Yeah. It's really weird, actually, that, that you mentioned, like, you wish that that was a thing in school. Yeah. I feel like, man, you really don't get taught, like, how to feel or feelings or when something comes up. Yeah. Like, when were you taught empathy, you know? You yeah. have to just learn, go through it, something to learn it, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's also, uh, like, you learn your own form of it, right? Right. And that could eventually, that could be like, you know, a bad thing yeah. or a good thing. Yeah. And uh, that definition kind of changes over time. But mm -hmm. I feel like, I don't know, man. I feel like it could be so much more like preventative like ways, you know, to help people. What do you think? Like, what do you think a good... I think that would be great. Yeah. I think so too, like right? Like that kind of thing or or even just like a class of you go around... Empathy and like, class. Yeah, like talk to people or just talk about like... Bro what you like or absolutely you know what i mean absolutely stuff like that dude especially as a kid yes when the, when's the first time you remember like feeling empathy i've never felt like a teach like especially between a teacher and like students yeah i feel like that could be so worthwhile for sure you know because of course how many times have you uh like in in school there's like a class where everyone hates the teacher or yeah you know what i mean yeah and it's like everyone in the school hates this one person yeah, everyone's like yeah. on the same page you yeah. know what i mean but yeah. what if like you go to each person in that school, you all learn who each other are. Mm -hmm. Like every teacher, you have to talk to them. You have mm -hmm. to meet with them. Mm -hmm. You f find out who each other are. And now you're ready to learn, you know? Dude. Now you have this environment. Totally. Right? I think I think it was- you're just thrown in a school, dude. Yeah. Especially public school yeah, where like it's yeah. not as, you know, you're not as well off. Yeah. It might not be the greatest, you know? Um, I don't know. I feel like we're just missing something. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree because I could it, do so much, so much for it might shatter that like hierarchy of like popularity and then yeah. like 
people that you you step on yeah. and beat up yeah. and sh- you know what i mean yeah yeah because yeah. Ima- then everyone's this, yeah. you know imagine like like a, a quieter kid likes something and then you know some other like a popular t- kid that might have like in the future bullied that kid yeah they're on the same page about yeah. something that they have a similar interest for sure. or something for sure but for you sure. never would have known that absolutely and yeah. a lot and a lot of the things you, you don't how many people do you really know from high school or oh, like man. from school yeah right how many people do you really like oh, hold bro. on to or Dude. what even the people that you do know like what do you really know about them it's like you you naturally just clicked up for some yeah. reason you were, you were it's almost just to get by yes right yeah to survive to in, a way. in some way and to get by you're real at lucky the, at the surface you're real lucky if you find like people you yeah you love deep. yeah yeah something deep but um yeah dude it i think that'd be so healthy i think that'd yeah. be so healthy um because like i dude i remember like that the, the a, a couple episodes ago i was talking about that kid i, I did that project with and i mm-hmm. never hung out with again and i was re- really resented myself for not doing that yeah. i beat myself up about it sometimes because i missed out on like a cool thing yeah i i felt a ton of empathy because i remember i'll never forget it we were on the blacktop and my my good friend at the time who was it was more of like a you know this kid lets me hang out with them we we watch movies together. He yeah. invites me over to his house. Like, you know, that's my friend. Mm-hmm. I don't know how it happened. It happened. Um, he fought that kid on like the kickball uh, uh, blacktop. Oh, wow. and the the kid like didn't want to fight. Yeah, the kid I'm, that I was wasn't friends with. And he, I remember he he was he he was he kept getting bullied, kept getting bullied. My friend like bullied him to the point of like he got so angry he swung and it was like dude i'll never forget it 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 was like this wide hook like a it was never gonna hit anything it was just so wide and like uncoordinated you know it's never gonna connect and my friend just went down and hit him as hard as he could in the stomach and like knocked the wind out of him and he fell on the floor and everyone started running laughing like running away I remember, like, it, I took, like, a step, and I turned back, and I looked at the kid, and I just felt, like, this wave of, like, shame and empathy and what, you know, what he's feeling. And uh, there was just no room to, like, I felt like I, if I stayed mo- longer, I would be beat up, too. So I, I didn't stay. Man. You know, but if I had an empathy class, you yeah. know, and I knew what feelings what he was feeling and I, I felt like a love or a connection for this guy and i knew how to process it and i knew it was healthy and not scary or weird then i might have stayed then i might have been like hey don't do or don't hey got both of you i love you both stop like yeah. you know we both know each other we both care about each other none of this mm-hmm. you know i think it's a healthy thing man yeah. that'd be so cool <laughs> Now that you said the word weird, like it would be a weird thing. I feel like that was literally the thing I was, I was like trying to escape my whole life. Oh. It was like being weird, mm. right? Mm. But then like, I feel like that almost breeded like a new <laughs> generation of kids that are literally like, I'm just weird. Dude. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and it's like yeah. accepted. Yeah. You know? Totally accepted. It's now. so weird. It's strange because I remember literally it was always, he's weird. Like, yeah. That's weird. Like, weird is cool. so now. weird. Now weird it's literally cool. like you want to be weird. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is. It's so it's just backwards now. Yeah, <laughs> it makes yeah. No it's sense. just different. It's, it's funny. It's cool though. I mean, that that's yeah, cool. Yeah. You know, it's I, funny shouldn't though. Be, it's really funny. Bullying should be definitely <laughs> fucking ousted from uh, being a kid. I don't know why it's naturally like a thing that's happened since the beginning of time. But yeah. people get bullied. How excited are you for your kids, dude? Oh, <laughs> when you have a kid, <laughs> dude. That's a. I, I hate that. I hate <laughs> even thinking about that. I'm like, I'm gonna kid put my kid in boxing at like five yes you know yeah you already know you're, yeah your boy's been on a second class of bucks hey dude. before we get into it yeah what what time are we at we're at 20, 20 minutes 20. can we pause here and pull up that video and like prep Which it one? the video I, sh- I showed you on my facebook it's the, on youtube the eye contact oh thing. Yeah, yeah yeah for can sure we do that real for quick sure, for sure because i think that's important man yeah, yeah let's do it it's on youtube yeah it should be on youtube just put on like eye contact experiment you guys do it in um didn't you do it in acting or no? I did it by myself asking people to do it. Uh-huh. And a couple Cuz I remember you, you were telling me about that. Yeah. It's repetition is like that cuz you're just staring at each other and you're saying you have a plaid shirt and then you say to me I have a plaid shirt. 
you have a pleasure, I have a pleasure, until something changes. And it's not about the words. It's supposed to be about connection and bringing you to the moment. Yeah. That's the yeah. exercise. But eye contact is no words. It's just staring at each other. Which one was It's it this here? one. This one? Yep. That's the one. And there's a bunch of people in it, but we, oh, can, really? we can fast forward. Yeah. I mean, it's dude, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do it. But we could skip if you if we want to get to the part. No, let's do it. I just think it's important, man. Because I don't think people know about this stuff. Like, no, definitely the not. The power of you sitting in front of another human being that you don't know, a stranger. These are all complete strangers. Um, and I, I always thought this was like an acting experiment. So they've never set eyes on each other ever, any of these people. Wait, so that was legit like... I'm te- that wasn't Br- acting. That was real life. This is an exper- This is a real experiment. Five minutes. So, so re- rewind it real quick. Just like five seconds. Uh huh. There was a text. Look at how nervous I everyone is. I can't believe it's actually real. Four minutes of eye contact brings people closer uh, to each other better than any everything else. Oh man, dude, I'm telling you. Wait, dude, I I literally thought it was like an acting thing. No, no, no. I said this I'm is nuts. a good acting. This is like this is what acting should be. Oh my god, these people have never seen each other ever. They've never laid eyes on each other. Different walks of life, different genders, different social economic statuses, religions, wow. everything. I mean, if you guys are listening, I know we got our audio You got to get on YouTube for this part, guys. I'm sorry. Just check this or skip a little bit, but... So it's random people sitting in front of each other, saying hello, staring at each other. So you see the smiles? It's usually... Yeah. It's, it's smi- so these are the two guys I'm talking about, the Germans. Yeah. Here. So it's first, you. this is the normal thing. You're greeted with smiles. Hi. The, 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 yeah. Try to break the si- You break the, the ice. Yeah. I, I, this is awkward a little bit, but this is how I present myself. I'm going to present my best self to you. But after a minute or two, look at this. You know, it's much more calm. I'm just, I'm just, now I'm, now I'm observing. Now I'm, she's still very nervous, this little girl. She can't even look at him in the eye. There's something going on inside her that she's afraid to let out. Yeah. She doesn't want to be seen. Because that's what it does. It cracks you open. This eye contact. She's already starting to crack. She can't hold it in. Because you're seen finally. You're being seen. And you know you're being felt. Saying how old they are. She can't look at her. She's caring. Man. It's the power of human being. Yeah, man. man. It's the power. Now look at these two. These two are falling in love. (laughs) For real. You can see it. Now here we go. You knew in Berlin. She knows. She knows, man. Sometimes. Nice. Oh, man. She can't even contain it. She feels that pain. She's holding that pain for him. She cares. Yeah. You you gain a sense of respect and love and admiration for the person. You realize that they're just like you. So you feel what they feel. Dude, I say, you know what? We got a hold of you are here event. Dude, I, dude, I'm so I'm serious. No, I'm being real. We should do like in the city something. I would love this. I would love to let's, do this. Let's reach out to the west. Okay. Try to do maybe in the back area there. I would love that. Just, just like just so you are here like an hour. Eye contact an hour. experiment. I would love that. I would love nothing more than What do you think do. of that? I think, I think that's beautiful. That's 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 what I want to do more of. I think that'd be cool, man. You're literally creating empathy in people. Look at what happens after. Keep playing it. These are strangers before. Look at hugging. Look at the, the how much care is there. These aren't strangers anymore, man. These are these are people. They they know each other like deeply, and and it's not even like a words thing. It's an understanding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's in love. She she can't she can't. It does that too creates love uh, yeah they're 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 over the moon these two kids even in kids man you want a hug look at look at how they're playing <laughs> they're not afraid anymore 
<laughs> just from four minutes. I expect him to ask my number. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, it creates love. It creates real connection. Look at that. That's for life, homie. For yeah. four minutes of eye contact. Yeah. But we look. We walk around like, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Next this few days. Text you if you would like. To. I would love it. Of course. Can do it. There you go. Uh, when I was looking into her eyes, I was trying to see what I could tell from the life that she lived. See. I, think I could tell that there was a lot of experience. Man. It doesn't matter. Look in the eyes or something. Just. Uh, Syria, Poland, to talk. Syria, to look at that Germany. Person. Wow, this would be crazy, man. Poland. I think this would be really crazy for people look at to that. experience. Oh, come on, you see that? Yeah. <laughs> wow. See how beautiful people look when they when they take each other in. Yeah. Dude, I love it. Wow. Man, that's so cool. If there's anyone that wants to do an eye contact experiment, I'm telling you, this is for people who feel like they're yeah. unseen, feel a little bit alone, lost, uncomfortable, or just want to feel connected, or just meet a new friend. That's that's a cool way of doing it. Yeah. It's a fun way of doing it, because we're going to be tighter mm -hmm. than most people I know. That's crazy. Yeah. Think of like all, you know, all the people you know. Yeah. If yeah. you sit down with someone for four minutes, they're going to be tighter to you. Just just in your DNA, you can't even explain it. You're going to have like this connection be, just because you, you, you intimately know each other now. Yeah. It's like a link made. Yeah, yeah. That's powerful, wow. man. Yeah, definitely. That's really cool. You get to just see it like happen in front of you. You it's see so it. weird. You see it. It's really weird. I felt it. I felt it before, man. And And... That feeling doesn't go away. It just, you know that person. Mm -hmm. You don't know everything about yeah, yeah, them, yeah. but there's a connection made. Yeah. And I was trying to break it down. Uh -huh. Like he was, the one guy was saying, you know, when I looked into her eyes, I was trying to figure out where her life has been. Mm -hmm. her, her, and I, I saw a lot of experience. That's what we do when we do this. It's like when you, with someone you don't know, immediately like after you get past the giggles and everything and the insecurity of of you know you watching yourself do it eventually mm -hmm. you're finally looking yep when you break through all that and when you are looking and you're calm and you're not the attention isn't on yourself anymore it's naturally now it's here now i'm holding this person's gaze the next thoughts become like whoa they have a pockmark here where that come from where have they been what was their parents like you know, what have they seen? You know, are they alone? Are they with people? Are they, you can, you can start to develop and see. It's like an investigation, you know? Yeah. And your empathy is like fully on because you start, you start putting the pieces together mm -hmm. and you understand that they're just like you, but different, different experiences. Yeah. I don't know. Like empathy just, I, I just want to make that shine in my life. Like I just want to, I want to be such a good empathizer yeah you know i want to feel what people feel a lot i want to mm -hmm. you know preserve myself but also like really connect really experience what another person feels like and put myself in their shoes that's what we're, that's what it is you're putting yourself naturally in another person's shoes yeah. and uh eye contact is like the coolest tool yeah you know it's huge we should do an event I like that. Anyone who wants to do it. I feel like that'd be really cool. Reach out. Let's try to set something up. You're here podcast. I feel, like, I feel like we even just set up like some park and like <sighs> And just the city set, put up a sign, bro. Yeah. I would do that with you. I honestly would take a day to do that. Yeah. I say we do it, man. I'm so down. So, so down. Let's do that. You're going to see it. We're going to we see what happens. We can record it too. We can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be yeah, awesome. Yeah, definitely. That'd be awesome. I'm oh, yeah. so down for that. I think bro. that'd be sick. But if you guys just want to do it with us, you could come on over. <laughs> we'll do it. Yeah. 100%. Let's make yeah. more empathy. Out what if we did that? Me and you? Yeah. We definitely did. I mean, I know you, but I, I yeah. like even even last podcast, I was I noticed I was looking at you while you were talking to me about my my grandpa's rings. Yeah. And it it cracked me because I was looking at you. If I wasn't looking at you, I don't think it would have. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I can't explain yeah, why. Yeah. But There's... I felt like but I the feeling I this I know. The feeling was 
you were holding me in that moment like I was safe. Mm -hmm. I felt totally safe. I forgot this was on. Yeah. And I felt like you cared about what what I was going through and you were mm. trying to console me and also like walk through it with me and you and that you were feeling it. So it gave me permission to feel it too. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I could yeah, tell yeah, you were definitely. feeling it. But I noticed we were we I was definitely yeah. watching you while you were no, talking. I think the eye contact really holds that power, you know. It's yeah. something it's it's a connection that it's it's like nothing else. It's almost like the sense you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, there's nothing else you could be focusing on. Right? No. No, it goes away, all the other shit. And, like, there's some people I know that can't look people in the eye. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and, and it's, it's, but that's it. It's a fear thing. Yeah. But I, I told you before, when I don't do it, when I'm not looking you in the eye, yeah, I've noticed those days I walk through life or those months, that the, the weeks that turns into months, mm -hmm. are because I'm holding something in that yeah. I haven't worked out yet. And I don't want you to see it. Uh -huh. I'm ashamed of myself in some way, and I don't want you to spot it. Uh-huh. So I'm not going to look you in the eye. I'm yeah. going to look anywhere else. I don't want to meet a new person because I don't want them to find out I'm a piece of shit or I'm a loser. Mm -hmm. or I'm a, you know, I'm not who they think I am. I don't want to be discovered. So I hide. Yeah. And it's like the simplest of, it's from this to this. Yo, what's up? That's the, uh, did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of this, yo, what's up? It's, yo, what's up? Yeah, yeah what's up? Yeah. What's good? Yeah. You know, that's the difference, but it's me hiding. That's all it is. Yeah, it is. There's been stretches of life I noticed where when I was in acting school, I just always looked people in the eye. Mm -hmm. I was always working on my shit, getting it out. I always felt like I had nothing to hide. Presence, presence, presence. Connection, connection, It made connection. it way easier? Totally. That's all I wanted to do every day. Mm -hmm. But then when I went through some stuff, personal stuff, on the other side of it, never looking at people anymore. Mm. And I was like, Dave, what happened? I got I to gotta focus. I got to try to get... And even when I would try, it'd be like... I'd get close to doing it and I'd always stop myself. And I was like, dude, this is an issue. I don't want to live life like this because I yeah. feel alone and I want to have more connection. It's I want to feel like, more it's, myself. It's so crazy because it's such like a noticeable thing too. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah. Know? You know right away. Like when someone looks away. Or... When you want to make a connection and someone's not available to do that, how does that feel? Yeah. Like someone, you notice like someone doesn't quite want to meet me yeah. where I'm at in this moment. They don't want to meet me in the present. Yeah. Oh. I feel like there's it, like communication is so complex, right? Yeah. It's it's very complex, but I feel like it could be very easy mm -hmm. at the same time, right? You could simplify you it. Know? It is a complex thing, but like yeah. even that's a little complex. But when you simplify empathy with one tool like eye contact, it's very yeah. simple. Very simple. Yeah, Certain yeah. amount of time, eye contact, you two. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Bro, I wish I could pull someone off the sidewalk. Right I know, now. right? I would, I would love to do it. I don't care who it is. Because the cool thing is, bro, this is, um, oh, what's his name? I'm going to forget. Adam's going to kill me. Uh-oh. I forgot it. It might come back to me later. But uh, Studs Terkel. Studs Terkel mm. was like, it's a sick name. he lived his life doing this. He, he would sit down with people he didn't know and make tapes and like just have conversations mm. with people he didn't know. Celebrities, r normal people on the street, whoever. And his whole thesis was, there is no such thing as an uninteresting person. No such thing. And I totally agree. Mm -hmm. More empathy, the more you live in empathy, with empathy and you, you flex that muscle, because it's a muscle. That is a muscle. Empathy is a total muscle. Yep. And the, least, the less you use it, the more it atrophies. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're actively pursuing, like, strengthening that empathy so that you can feel connected to people truly and have real exchanges and have real human to human contact and interaction the way they should be or the way they were meant to be this divine kind of connection you know you realize that there's no one that's uninteresting you can do this with anyone and mm -hmm. you're going to feel something something like deep mm -hmm. where you recognize yourself in that person and you say damn like i care i understand a little bit i want to know more I care. I see me and you. That's the whole. I think that's the whole point. Yeah, definitely. You know, we 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 get secluded because we we got our computers and our screens yeah, and our, yeah, yeah. and that's safe. That's safety because you're not going out on a limb. You don't. You know, this is, doesn't care if you're looking at it or not. Mm -hmm. Just you look at it. But there, if there's no uninteresting people, like imagine the, I don't know, the interactions you could have with amazing, you know 
just just universes of life in front of you for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. Imagine like how people can enrich you as you go through your life, and you can enrich them. Yeah, we're meant to learn from each other, dude. Like, and if we're just passing each other in the street, I mean, there's so many of us. You couldn't do it all day, every day. You you wouldn't move. Mm-hmm. You know, you wouldn't get out of your driveway. Yeah. If you if we're stopping doing four minute, you know, eye contact exercises, I know that's it's crazy. We can't all yeah. do it all day. But I'm just saying, like, if you did it, I don't know, once a day, you try mm-hmm. to like really be like, wait a second, Dave, gas station attendant isn't a gas station attendant. That's a human being who was born by a mother and a father someplace in the world. I wonder I wonder who, I wonder where, I wonder and you just start there. Mm. And you start to really like develop a, a care because you realize you had an upbringing too, and you can relate. Yeah, you know. I love that, dude. Yeah, I like this conversation. Yeah, uh, I came up with a random question. Do you ever feel? Have you ever felt like this podcast? Where, like. Do you think you'll ever be or were you ever in the past like scared of what other people would think? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I Yes, dude. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Totally. When we started, no. Somewhere in the middle, yes. Yeah. I can't tell you when. But um, what made you want to keep doing it? Because I know there was always a kernel of truth to it. Yeah. There was always like, it was always me and you sitting down. And I always, if I, if I got nervous about what people thought of me or I started like clocking this and, uh, hey, yeah. uh what about, <laughs> fuck the Yankees, <laughs> like looking at the camera, you know, like if I was doing that, I would always kind of, I'd catch myself and fall and, and check myself and say in the moment, like, just look at Mikey. Yeah. Where are you? You're here. You're with Mike. This doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Like this is the byproduct of what I'm really after. Yeah. But yes, I definitely was concerned about how I looked mm-hmm. for sure. For sure. Definitely at times. Yeah. I, I started wondering, to, I, I, I wanted to talk about that today. Actually, I thought um, like what, what gives me the right to have a microphone and, and have a podcast? Mm. Like what gives us the right? But I also want you to answer that question that you just asked me. Yeah. So first ask that answer your question. I think it's similar to your answer. Did you ever feel insecure yeah. about being be doing this? I think so. Especially like meeting new people and like they learn about it and then blah, blah, blah. Or like, you know, you meet someone, go on a date and they're like, oh, what are they going to be like? You have a podcast where you just talk all day? Right. Like, and, and, and what, and, if, and they was take, what yeah. if they go back and listen to what you say? Yeah. And yeah. like they judge you Or they it. find something that they're yeah. like, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. But you know what? I think that... Like you said, that's all, there's all, there's all like, you know, pieces of truth there mm-hmm. and it's who I was, right? Yeah. And it's partly right. who I am, you know, I mean, we've been doing it for what, three years, so definitely going to be changing. So I don't know. That's, that's, I think the line where I'm like, what if something changes, you know, yeah. drastically that yeah. maybe it might come back to bite me. I get that. Right. What if- I feel like this, what we do though is just. There's nothing like that, really. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, what we really are, af- like, about is more, like, the feeling. And we're working through everything, too. We kind of make that known and obvious. So, I feel like now I just really... I feel like these past couple podcasts, kind of when we, like, we said, hey, it's... We, we kind of got back to our roots. Got our I language feel like, back, man. Yeah, man. I feel like after that, I was like, I don't care. Yeah. You know, like, yes. that's it, man. Yes. Like... We're just here. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We hung up the, the, what are we going to be like in five years? Yeah. Thing? Yeah. Which yeah. is, which is, I mean, we should have because our podcast is based in, we're, we're, it's like an experiment of being present. Yeah. For three years. We yeah. promised each other that's what we want to do. And then, you know, on the business side of things, it's hard to be like, all right, we stay present, but like, where are we headed? Yeah. And sometimes we, we would drift into that like a year or two ago. Mm-hmm. But now it's like we're, we know. We show up here to this table, we turn the shit on, mm-hmm. we start recording, and something's going to happen. Yeah. And every it has time. for three years, Yep, consecutively every week. Mm. And we've always like hit something we don't know about each other. Yeah. Come up with a conversation we've never had in some kind of way. It's the, it's, and we're, we're, 
I don't want to toot our own home, but we're kind of, we're kind of like, we're kind of like discovering some things about being present and how like there's oh, yeah. always something. If you do clock out, like clock into the present and like leave all the other shit behind, just trust mm-hmm. that if you just sit down with your buddy or someone, something new is going to come up. Yeah. That's, that's the nature of what we're doing. I, we're not trying to copy anybody. There's nothing new. I thought of the craziest thing in the world. Well, I don't know if this is going to be crazy to say, but oh I was man, like, oh this man, almost man. feels <laughs> like how, like, I don't know if I should say this. I'm in short shorts, bro. You better say it. I'm like, feeling. F- I feel like this is free. almost how like movements and like religions are made. Oh man, <laughs> dude, no, we're starting to we're starting a religion. Maybe not. I think movements a better movement. Word. I like movement. Movement, but like I don't know. Like I, I feel like it's. I can feel the. Like what we're doing, like become a, a force yeah <laughs> it sounds so bad I totally feel it no i feel the same but bro. you know what i mean like not in you know what i mean it's and it's i think that's why i I'm, i want to say it is because i feel like it's not a a negative no, thing it's not no, trying no. to take control of anything no. it's not trying to like really no you know what i mean we're just putting it out there yeah you know and i feel like that's it can only really do positive yeah you know there's not that's really what trying to do if like you like if any you get any negative from it, it's just you don't just don't don't listen tune in then I yeah guess. yeah like that's all i can say you yeah know? yeah I, th- I it's amazing because we are we've developed that voice now yeah we it's like we both are singing the same harmony mm-hmm. we know what it is we know the song and now people we don't know are saying i like the sound of that song yeah but it's but we're not looking for that yeah, yeah it's yeah. just kind of naturally occurring mm-hmm. and we're like well the door's open yeah come on in you know that's cool man like we, yeah. we we promised each other we would be present and this podcast is about just meeting each other every monday and because we've done that we found out more about each other we keep as we live like going through new shit obviously because mm-hmm. that's life and then we're sitting down as best friends and promising like we'll put it on a podcast yeah this is a real conversation mm-hmm. i might have had a shitty week last week you know and you did too and like we were honest yeah and something came from that. And people we didn't know reached out and said, dang, you know, that meant something to me that you did that. Yeah. So it's it's cool that that's happening. But selfishly, I'm like, I don't know. I'm just so glad I got to come to the table and like just sit with you. Yeah. This is I always say it, but it's 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 really cool that the You're Here podcast is like has like an identity. Yeah. Like a clear identity. Yeah, yeah. You know, I feel very confident with that now. Me too. I'm not worried about how I sound or look anymore. Yep. Um So that answers the question of I was asking myself before when I was alone, which mm-hmm. is like what gives me the right to yeah. get on a microphone and like because I I'm living. Like mm-hmm. I have a soul. Like I am I'm a pr- present. Yeah. I have a friend who is willing to do the same thing and with can, me. And you can just buy it on Amazon. <laughs> It's also a reason. <laughs> can you? you could just buy it on Amazon. Buy what? So you can buy a couple a microphone. microphones and yeah, just do yeah. it. You know? That's true. Yeah, anyone could do it. So, yeah. So that gives me the right. Yeah. 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 I like the other answer better, but... No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know. No, I feel you. But that's the practical answer. Yeah. I like that too. Um, I want to do the last leg of this. Okay, yeah. What do you got for me? Um, last week, I talked about my grandma. Oh, right. yeah. Dude, I wanted to bring this up. And uh, let me bring, actually... The box? The box. Let's go. Let's go. I, I want to tell the people a story while you're doing that. Mikey was sleeping on a couch because his family friends came from <sighs> Poland. And they... Uh, no, no. It's not a bad thing. I'm just... Expre- like, he doesn't have a bed right now. They they took his bed because he, he, he... They didn't take it. Mikey, Mikey graciously and his family graciously gave up the bed for his guests so now Mikey was sleeping on a couch, and I promised him that if you took my air mattress, you're gonna, it's going to be a better night of sleep than your couch. It's a full queen air mattress. It's got stilts on it. It's got a whole – it opens up like a real bed. Mikey wouldn't take it, refused it, refused it. Yeah. Finally, he took it. It's like an army platoon bed. It's sick. So how did you feel sleeping in that bed? I mean, dude. Is it different? It's different. It's not an air It's dude, not like an air I'm mattress. I'm telling right? you, my back. Do you feel better? That last night before the back, like I remember waking up. <laughs> How cramped up. It was insane. How kinked up. I, I remember I had a dream <laughs> about being cramped <laughs> in my back. 
<laughs> like that's how you know. And then I woke up and it was true. So that's how bad it was. And I thank you for that. I got you. You know, I got I you. Really thank I was you for telling that. you about it. I wish yeah. you would have took it sooner. I know. I'm. I'm. You know me. I'm. I'm just glad my buddy's sleeping hard-headed. well. So this is the box. This is the box. I talked about it last week. Looking, um, guys, we got a gold. I box. randomly took this. I don't know why. This is just one thing for my great grandma that great I held grandma. on to. It's her sewing box. Wow. And I remember where I was sitting down. I got the bed for you, and I just sat down on the ground. And I took my little journal and I started just thinking, mm. writing it. Mm. This wow. Whoa. You know, you got your yarn, you got your needles. There's like, this is what messed me up, dude. It's just buttons. like a little thing of buttons. She kept them. In a, in a dried mushroom container. Yes. You know? My great grandfather would do the same There's stuff. There's something about it. Yeah. You know, when I looked at it, I was like, Oh my God. He had pasta cans, the big, like, yeah. tutta russo, like, yeah, tomato yeah, 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 cans. Yeah, yeah. Like, he'd have them cleaned out and then a bunch of just mismatched nails. <laughs> yeah. Like, that were used. <laughs> yeah, man. 100%. <laughs> like, man. Um, so, I, I'm just going to go through wow. a couple of things I wrote, I guess. This is unbelievable, man. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so, it's my sewing box from Bapcha. It's Bop, that's a grandma in Polish. Bapcha. Bapcha. Um, and I was trying to ask myself, why do I keep this? You know, uh-huh. and I don't really remember like really consciously grabbing this mm-hmm. and like being like, oh, I want to keep this. You know, mm-hmm. it's just like a, when we were moving, I put it in my box and I brought it over. And even I had it like I kept it after my grandma passed. I still had it in like my closet, mm-hmm. you know, and I was mm-hmm. like, why do I have this? You know what I mean? And I was trying to work through that. Um, and the craziest thing is when I sat there and I opened it, the first thing I got is like, it just smells like. Her. Oh, wow. You know, like completely. I was like, oh, like <laughs> it makes so much sense already mm-hmm. just from that. Right. And uh, I started thinking about like her as a person. She was very about like fully about family. Her, her whole life was taking care of family. Right. Taking care mm-hmm. of children. My mom, um, her sister the families within that it wasn't the greatest, you know, upbringing, like Soviet, uh, Poland, communist, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, the wars and stuff. And still through all like the hardship and stuff. And I remember there's one story of her, like she was on the line to either as a kid, she got like lost when there were, um, the Germans like came in and like, we're basically capturing everyone like wow. on curfew and stuff and like picking like them to go on a train to like concentration camps or to whatever safety. And, uh, she was literally like on the line to like go. And she, uh, I think someone found her or something. She like got on the other line, you know? So she like, I don't know, man, she lived through a lot of things. Um, but it was through, through all that. The thing I remember most about her is she's just like, so caring, always cared, she put like you first. Uh-huh. Uh, she never put herself in front of anyone. She'd do anything for anyone. Um, she was always smiling, always cracking jokes, always laughing. Um, and I f- was thinking about sewing and I'm like, that's such like a perfect like thing because it's literally like taking something and like, f- like something that's like damaged and like putting it back together Yeah. and like putting some care into it, some love. Yeah. And making it like new. Yeah. You know? But I think still, you know, the history of it though, like that whatever, jacket or a bag, you know, it still has that like scar, yeah. you know? Yeah. But uh, she's able to patch that up, you know? And I think she's able to patch that up, you know, in my life and like all the people she cared for. And I don't know, man. I just think that was her mission uh, in life. I always thought that. And uh, it just felt nice to work through it, mm. you know what? That's beautiful. You know, and that makes so much sense why I kept this. Totally. You know? Totally. Like the amount of, I don't know, meaning, just this <laughs> box of like, just looks like a jumbled mess, you know? No, I get it. It's kind of crazy to me. Um, and I think I also, uh, I brought this out because... She, another thing she she didn't have a lot of like belongings 
you know uh-huh. she didn't have like a wow. especially like through living through everything much. right she was used to just you know Traveling you go all the, all, you don't really have anything you can't keep anything mm. and also it's you know poor and you don't really have stuff mm-hmm. um she was very religious and uh yeah. i remember in her room she always had like little like knickknacks and stuff that like me and my brother loved looking at like in the like, grabbing playing blah, blah blah and she would always show us stuff and I don't know why I had I kept this one where it's it's literally looks like it should be in like a museum or something. Yeah, it but does. it's like a it's wood. Oh wow! You know, that's sure. Mary and, and baby Jesus right there. Yeah, a little. I don't even know what you call this. Yeah, I don't either. You know what I mean? But oh wow! I kept this, and I'm gonna have it. Oh, dude! Please do. Oh my goodness, we it's are the blessed. Watch over us here, dude. That is beautiful. That in is way. beautiful wow you know so that's kind of what i worked through man <laughs> that's beautiful i mean dude i think this yeah the the sewing mm-hmm. i think you hit something so meaningful yeah because it, when you look at the act of sewing like you said you're stitching together yeah yeah the rip parts generally if someone you cares care about mm-hmm. clothing that you want to restore and put back on them because they yeah, need it. Yeah. So you're caring through the sewing. Mm-hmm. You're caring for your loved one through sewing holes in mm-hmm. their life back together. Yeah. We and care. like with, with her, you know, the stuff in her life where, you know, problems with whatever her daughter, her mm-hmm. husband, yeah. like stuff like that. Um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of pain, you know. Mm-hmm. But she was so gifted at being able to like sew that pain up you know so i don't know man. you got to know her a bit yeah. this week dude yeah and or you, remember because i i knew that you know yes, i always knew that but is. like being able to connect it to this really like solidified it as an adult yeah it's different you know? yeah man that's beautiful good yeah. work i think too i want to say you i think you have a connection to her because of all the stuff she did for you, obviously, and how much she loved you and cared for you and mm-hmm. sewed your stuff together. But I think, like, there's there's many things. There's many reasons and the respect you have for her and her life. Mm-hmm. But I, my question to you is, don't you think you sew, too? Don't you think you were, you're a sewer, too, with your family and your friends? I don't know. I guess I, that's what I try to do. Some some traits may yeah. be the same. Yeah. Yeah. I think I got to think about that more. Yeah. You know, that's probably, yeah, what I'm trying to do. You know, that's yeah. probably my goal as well. But I also feel like, like that was, it almost feels like that was her mission. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Like she was gifted for that. Oh God, what happened to the, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Uh-oh. We just tapped into the, the under, metaverse. The uh, What is the underneath? Welcome to the metaverse. This is, we're in the metaverse. <laughs> this is sick. It's kind of cool, actually. Um, oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, we're in it now. Well, you've seen it here first. <laughs> I love that. Grandma about to come through the metaverse. <laughs> Bob, Bobsha? Bobsha. Bobsha. Yeah. Dude, I love it. I'm so Thank you for bringing this out, man. Yeah, yeah. This is beautiful. This just happened now, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I think so. I haven't yeah. looked. You know what? What? We'll roll it out like We're this. We're keeping it in, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Shit goes wrong sometimes in life. And and it's not wrong. It's just new. It's just yeah, different. Yeah. We're in a music video now. Yeah. Bobcha. Oh, my God. The more you... <laughs> wait. Did something just happen? Something's going on, dude. Dude, wait. Should I say it again? Don't say it again. It literally happened when you said it. It's freaking me out, man. Don't do it, please. You literally happened when you said it. Dude. What happened? I didn't you said Bobcha. And then what and it fucking went like blue. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. All right. You were here, Bacchus. Oh you my just... god. <laughs> you were here, Bacchus. <laughs> well, dude, this I'm not even joking. This always happens. Like something crazy always happens whenever I'm talking about her. Um, I believe it. I totally Dude, believe it. I remember. I think she's watching over you. When I moved, when when me and my family moved to the moved, basically yeah. we, we got there, and um, 
we started talking about her like we were moving stuff in bringing boxes and then like we were done and we sat down and uh we started talking about her and the lights like just started going crazy wow and we're like what <laughs> i think she's she's with us right now we man. love you guys shout out to the patrons you are podcast.net <laughs> shout out fabrizio shout out Seabass. we'll see you next week my name is mike i'm signing up my name is dave i love y'all please be kind to of one another we love you babsha we love you. It lit up.